Good morning, America. How are ya? It's two days after the election, and I would like to talk about a few things that are on my mind that relate to my life personally right now um, with the election results. As you know, I've been doing fertility treatments, and I'm getting ramped up on that again. I'm going to be starting again soon. Hopefully. So back in summer, when I first heard that Trump was, um, sorry, that Biden was dropping out, my heart sank because my mind immediately went to Trump's going to be reelected. He's going to ban IVF and I won't be able to pursue fertility treatments. In other words, my mind said Trump gets elected, Trump gets elected equals I do not get the option to have children. I don't know if that's actually gonna happen or not. I know Trump has said that he supports IVF, and frankly, I believe Trump has probably used IVF. And I don't think on a personal level that he cares about IVF. But then again, I don't think on a personal level he cares about abortion either. And that doesn't mean that the climate that he ushered in and the people that he helped promote and support didn't overturn Roe v. Wade. So we'll see. Um, in terms of the ethics of IVF, it's something that I've thought, prayed, and researched about a lot, and I will talk about it in a future post. But for right now, back to Roe. So another thing I'm afraid of is if I were to get pregnant, I'm considered a geriatric pregnancy. So any complications that I have, I'm very concerned that if I were to have complications, I wouldn't be able to get treated properly for them. My life would basically be discounted. Yes, you could say I'm being hyperbolic because it'll depend on the state that I live in. Not if there's a national ban, then it won't matter what state I live in. Okay, next, if I were to get pregnant and I were to have a child and concerned that my same-sex partner of 13 years will have no claim to the child and will not be able to get any rights or benefits related to the child um, because of uh, the type of people that Trump has surrounded himself with. I don't think Trump cares about gay stuff personally, but I think a lot of the people around him do. And finally, talk about student loans for a moment. Trump is probably going to get rid of the SAVE plan that the Biden-Harris administration put into place. That means that our student loan payments are going to go through the roof. I understand the perspective, I really do, that if you took out loans, you should pay them back. So all I ask is that you bring that same energy and that same belief system to all types of loans. So if we're talking about paying back the money that we owe, let's ask Trump to pay back the money to his creditors for the four to six times, depending on how you look at it, that he declared bankruptcy. Or alternately, we could make student loan debt a type of debt that's dismissible in bankruptcy court. Right now, it's not. If you take out $40,000 worth of credit card debt, if you take out $200,000 worth of credit card debt, um, you can declare bankruptcy and it can go away. Student loan, mm, mm So make student loan debt dismissible in bankruptcy court, and then we can all just take out all the loans we want and declare bankruptcy like Trump did and go on with our lives. Just something I'm thinking about at the moment.